and getting mentally prepared to compete. You see the focus. You feel the energy. These guys are ready to go. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA Action on 2K Sports. And our broadcast team tonight, Greg Anthony here to my left and Steve Smith to my right. And the Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, along the sidelines. Let's check out Toronto's starting lineup. They've got Scotty Barnes. R.J. Barrett is out there with Emmanuel Quick. Then it's Williams. And it's Aiton in at the five down low. And for the Hawks... In the backcourt, it's the Stars, Young and Murray. Johnson is out there with Bay. And it's Fernando in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Here in the middle of the season, injuries can certainly pile up, Greg. How does a team hold it together when it's, when it's missing important pieces? Kevin, it's all about communication and being ready to step up. As long as you keep working as a unit, you can cover for missing bodies. Now here's Murray. Over Barrett, and it's blocked. Fast break, Toronto. Here's quickly. Rips down the breakaway slam. A fantastic dunk, and he hangs around up there just for a little camera time. Yeah, maybe he didn't want to land awkwardly. Who knows? But there he is, and we see it very clearly. Barrett against Murray. Kicks to Young. Johnson outside. Barry's the long range jumper. Leave a gap that size, and Trey Young will spot it, and then he'll exploit it. Barnes against Bay. Count it. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. Young pass to Johnson. Back to Young. Some solid defense from Aiton. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. Hawks have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. To the paint, and stolen by Eaton. Barnes looking around. Inside. And Eaton yeah, the bucket on the assist by Barnes. Yeah, three for four now. I like the pace for them on offense. Quickly against Young. Murray outside. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. That's his ball. The Atlanta Hawks come into this one following a loss to the Mavericks. Barnes kicks to Williams. Pass to Barrett. Over Murray. Here's Williams. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basket. Yeah, hard trying to keep Williams off the boards. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. Murray outside. Back to Young. Shot clock at five. And the pass to Fernando. That shot off. Some solid defense from Aiton. Young against Barrett. He dishes it to Barnes. The shot's good. Barnes has got his second basket. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. And now the first time out called here for the Hawks. Last time they met was in Toronto where they beat the Raptors. Well, on the road, you don't expect to look so comfortable on the offensive end, but that was the story of the game. Yeah, they look right at home, except they weren't. Great job of blocking out the noise.
as we get a break in the action, let's take a peek at the leading defenses. Number one, the Raptors. It's the hallmark of a strong defensive team. When you can keep your opponents to such a low point total, it shows you are setting the pace. Taken away by Williams. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. The future that Scotty Barnes has in this league is bright. A versatile swingman with an outstanding work ethic. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Raptors. For me, they made a point to attack inside early in the game, and it's paid off for them. A lot of solid looks in the paint. And, guys, they've also done a great job generating offense from their defense, forcing turnovers and making the defense pay for those mistakes. And he makes the first. It's in both. Here we are, Greg, watching Atlanta. This team has a lot of firepower. And some great scores, Kevin. They don't just launch threes. They like to work for good shots inside the arc as well. Now here's Murray. He's coming off a 22-point game against Dallas. And stolen by Williams. Hope loose. Last break here. Here come the Hawks. Here's Murray. Williams with the block. Now the reach of Williams is outstanding. He uses it to perfection Defense to deny shooters. Robert Williams, his first. Team's first. The Hawks the shooting their first free throw of the night here. Jalen Johnson. One shot. One shot. And that one falls for Johnson. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Quickly with it. Really played well against the Clippers in his last outing. They get it back. Aiton fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Just such strength on these finishes. When you foul Aiton, you really have to hit him to prevent the basket. And he's got his first chance at the line here. DeAndre Hunter, he's checked in for the Hawks. Free throw drops for Aiton. And you just have to be enticed by the skill set of Aiton. A uh, seven foot one behemoth who plays with a lot of physicality and skill on both ends. Now here's Bay. Still yet to score. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. Snatched up. Williams kicks to Quickly. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Quickly's got his second bucket of the night. And they've done the job on the offensive glass. Young dishes to Hunter. Out of bounds, Hawks ball as Atlanta keeps possession. A moment here now to see the numbers for Trey Young. He's been on a remarkable tear this past month, averaging about 27 points a game, 10 assists, and three rebounds. And he has been passing the ball like a virtuoso. That's what really stands out about these recent performances. You know, mentally, he's a pass-first type of player. It gets everyone involved and engaged, and that really sparks this offense. And they've had chances to score inside, just unable to convert. Oh, Aiton in position. An emphatic LU jam. 
And, and what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Now, here is Young, and the points coming for him in big bunches. His average stands at just about 29 and a half points a game. He's fearless. Trey Young knows he's probably going to take contact, and it doesn't matter at all. Here's quickly following the basket by Trey Young. Scooped up, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Sadiq Bay. Nice work to get it inside and draw contact. Raptors have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. And they've shot the ball well this season in, in terms of their attempts. 81%. And the first one drops. Both shots good from the strike. And here's Young. Atlanta calls timeout. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. surreal and he's an elite glass eater a factor inside among the top 10 in rebounds per game and yeah he's been a brutal shot blocker all season long as as you said top five in the league he's a dangerous force to face inside now here is young he's coming off a 16 point game against dallas and he really controlled the pace of the game by getting to the line the d could not slow him down and he took advantage of it here's barrett Good, and it's Barnes picking up the assist. And after missing four straight, he finally gets one to go. The Hawks trail by 16. Young pass to Hunter. That one drops for him. The defense was there, but overall, DeAndre Hunter showing his footwork and agility in the lane. Barnes against Hunter. Barnes can't get it to go. And here's Hunter. He'll bring it up for Atlanta. That's a floater go. Tremendous at anticipating when shots are going up. Aiden is outstanding at protecting the rim. And the dunk by Barnes. And they have owned the paint so far. And the score reflects it. I'll tell you, this was their strategy coming in. They obviously identified a weakness there inside. Now, here's Hunter. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. The defense is right there. Quality contest, and they threw him off his rhythm. Quickly kicks to Barnes. Driving the lane. The shot, no good. Good D by Johnson. 
The Hawks trail by 16. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Nice shot. Right Good now. from Bay. Relentless oh, effort oh, by Sadiq. Bringing a jolt of energy to the squad. So, timeout called here. The first for Toronto. And we know Sadiq Bay is a reliable player on offense, but at times, Smitty, he's exceeded that. Oh, yeah. Sadiq Bay can have a big night when his confidence is really flowing and he's not shying away from big shots. Atlanta making some changes. Griffin's checked in for Bay. Hardaway comes in for Murray. And it's Mills in for Young. Now here's Schroeder, covered by Mills. Schroeder passes to Bassey. And it's in there. So <laughs> defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Outside Hardaway. And again, it's Atlanta. Now Schroeder, who provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11.5 points a game. Lays it up off the glass. You know, it's going to be tough to win when you give the other team second and third opportunities to score the ball. Hardaway against Trent. Now here is Hardaway. Guarded closer. Six on the shot clock. Here's Hunter. It's deflected. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Schroeder, right side. Trent, outside. to Schroeder. Jacks up a three. Rebounded by Hardaway. The Hawks trail by 16. Pass to Johnson. And it's to the... And he drops yeah, in the way up off the glass. Assistant. And the Raptors lead by 18. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Mills passes to Griffin. Now, here's Hunter. He kicks to Mills. To the middle. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. His first. Team second. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Jalen Johnson. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one misses. No good at the stripe this time. The second misses also. Toronto leading by 18. Here's Schroeder. Oh, 
tipped away. Mills with the steal. Johnson outside. The Hawks again can't hit. Toronto's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Two minutes remaining in the first. Here's Dick, defended by Griffin. Here's Bassey. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Bassey's got his second bucket. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Mills dishes to Hunter. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Here's Dick, defended by Griffin. Passes to Trent. Griffin with the steal. Oh, here we go with uh, Griffin. Nobody back there. And the shot goes in. Griffin. Love the recognition. Realizes that one is all him. Sometimes that's the call. You want to be unselfish, but even more so, you want to be effective. Now here's Schroeder. Pass to Trent. Over Hardaway. And it's Griffin with the rebound. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. They get a hand on it. Trent with it. His last outing, 16 points for him. Here's Schroeder, and the shot is long. Both sides attacking. That was good defense versus good offense. And here's Mills. Nothing on the board. Here's Griffin. Off target from three-point range. 20 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Now, Dick. With one on the clock. Oh, and the buzzer beat is good. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. 16. Nice job. For what I love, there was no panic on his part. That's the steady pulse you want in that situation. DeAndre, he has been the guy making things happen for the Toronto Raptors. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. We'll get right back to the action when we return. So far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And for the Raptors, this has been the game they wanted to have. You can see they were well prepared defensively coming into this one. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively. Also keeping them out of sync. And Steve, when a team wins or loses a few in a row, how much does that carry on to the next game? You know, Kevin, it, it carries on. It's dependent if you're executing and playing well. Sometimes you can just lose and you feel good because you're playing the right way. But if you're losing and not playing the right way, it can carry on. Same thing for the wins. So on the floor for Toronto to start this second quarter. Emmanuel quickly out there with Barrett. Then there's Scotty Barnes. Then there's Aiton. And it's Bassey in a power forward. So the wing on the left. Bassey the pass to quickly. Lock at six over Young. A lot of people bag on Young's defense. But he's sneaky and he has great anticipation. And you know what? He makes the effort. Now here is Young. Here's Bay. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got eight rebounds in this game. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. And Barrett gets it to go. They continue to be outworked and outmuscled on the backboard. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, DeJounte Murray grew up in South Seattle. He said a lot of stuff goes on. It was rough. But... NBA veteran and fellow Rainier Beach graduate Jamal Murray tried to help him. Murray says he always stayed positive with me and my family. I'd say that kid has a chance. And every summer we play pickup. I knew I could be okay if I stayed working. Kevin? And he did. DA, thanks so much for the report. Here's Aiton. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. 
controlling the defensive glass has been a problem here tonight. Johnson finds Young. Down low, Fernando. That misses off the backboard. The Raptors have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, 3 of 6. Aiden inside. Johnson on him. Releases. And it's Aiden missing. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. Young for three. Rebounded by DeAndre Aiton. Aiton's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. Young against Quickly. The dish to Aiton. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. And a strong showing of physical strength there from Aiden. Defenders have their hands full when he's around the rim. Buffkin with the bucket. And you can see the defense broke down there, allowing him to get all the way to the hoop. Now, here's Barrett. Defense is right there. Another shot. And the layup is up and in. Barrett's got four points in the quarter. Yeah, they have dialed it up a notch here, really battling to extend this run. Young passes to Johnson. Bay into the lane. It's blocked, and as it goes out of bounds, Atlanta able to keep the ball here. And the Hawks making a change here. Murray's checked in. Williams, he's checked in for Toronto. Bay against Williams. Six to shoot. Bay passes to Fernando. Murray for three. And he's good on the three ball. Working off ball. Something Murray continues to develop. That's a nice play. And a guy who fills up the stat sheet across the board, Steve. DeJounte Murray. His length and athleticism shows up at both ends, Kevin. A good rebounder for a guard. And beyond the numbers, he comes up with some clutch plays. Now, here's Barrett. Following the miss by DeJounte Murray. And that one drops. Aggressive and physical. Barrett creating the contact there. To go and this is his first trip to the line tonight. And on the season, he's just a shade under 80 from the line. I'll bet he'd like to get that up over that mark. Here's Smith. He's checked in for the Raptors. And what you like about Barrett is his all-around game. A versatile guard slash forward who wants to keep improving. Now, here is Young. The pass to Bay. And he drives in and foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. His first. That one on eight. Lots of physicality on Sadiq Bay's drive. Going right into the defense and drawing the foul. This is his first free throw of the game. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. I like out on the floor, Sadiq Bey gives you everything he's got. Coach has to love having a player who is so determined to leave his mark on the game. And he makes both free throws. 
Smitty, we know the league is very balanced right now, but which division would you categorize as the best? You could argue the Pacific Division, but I like the talent and upside of the Atlantic Division. You've got Boston, Philadelphia, New York, Brooklyn, and Toronto. Now, here's Barrett. He's got nine. It's blocked. Here's Bufkin. This is DeYoung. Murray outside. Pass to Fernando. Dives for it. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors will take it the other way. And a moment here to see the standings for the Eastern Conference. And you know, guys, some interesting stories have unfolded here as we move through the middle of the season. Take a look at the Hawks. Right now, they've compiled the sixth best record in the conference. And, of course, there's Toronto, ten games behind. And if you look at the Hawks right now, they've made such fantastic progress this season. To see them so close to the top of the standings at this stage, what a surprise. Well, it's not surprising to them. Since day one of this season, these players and coaches have said they view themselves as one of the league's top teams. And it looks like they're right there. And that one, good. Given Murray's slight frame, you'd think physical defense would bother him more. It doesn't. Young against Smith. Passes it to Barrett. Aiton in the high post. And the Raptors miss again. Rare for him to get a wide open shot from mid range and fail to connect. And it's Murray penetrating. And it's Toronto with the rebound. They come into this having outplayed the Clippers last game. And, and the focus was to get stops. All game, they were right up on shooters, and that led to some big-time rejections. This was their game plan going in. Make shooters uncomfortable by challenging every possible shot. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. Young pass to Fernando. Yep, that one goes. And they repeatedly pushed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Smith dishes to Aiton. Can they get it? Second shot opportunity, and he lays it up and in. Aiton's got eight points here in this quarter. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. And the officials will call the illegal score right there. All right, a chance to check out stats for Trey Young. Now beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. Now here is Smith. Scoreless thus far. Young taking his time here. Offensive rebound. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Raptors leading by 22. And the Raptors call time here. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. Teams making some changes here. 
And now you see the 2K leaderboard. Not only have these teams caused a lot of turnovers over the last 10 games, but they've scored off them as well. Number one, the Raptors. I mean, they've gotten a little more aggressive defensively. You can become a more confident team on that end, and so much of it, I think, has to do with forcing turnovers and creating offense. Her passes to Dick. The step back jumper is good. Not just a jump shooter. Dick can operate inside of that restricted area. Hardaway against Trent. And Hardaway gets it to go. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Hardaway against Trent. Richards with it. Williams passes to Trent. Over Hardaway. Hunter grabs the miss. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for Atlanta. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. You know what? That's a game where the coach might just want to burn the video because there's no question they're a better team than what we saw. But they got crushed on that night. And obviously, we know that's not how they usually play. But hey, they've got to perform better next time around. Mills, he's checked in for DeJounte Murray. Outside Hardaway. Shot clock at six. Here's Griffin. A three-pointer off the mark. Raptors leading by 22. Schroeder outside. Outside Williams. To the inside. And there's Dick. That's good on the assist by Williams. Robert Williams. Dick's got six. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Now here's Mills. 11 points for him in that last game against Dallas. Schroeder outside. to Dick. Over Griffin. Here's Richards. And the layup fall. Nick Richards. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art. And that's the result you'll get. Here's Hunter. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Here's first. Team catching the defender out of position, DeAndre Hunter, he can score at all three levels. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. The future of DeAndre Hunter is bright. A versatile player who wants to be great, in my opinion. Johnson, he's checked in for Bruno Fernando. And Toronto also making a switch. Bassey's checked in. And both free throws good for Hunter. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. Here's Richard. Covered by Johnson. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Hardaway passes to Hunter. Kicks it to Mills. 
Two minutes remaining in the first To the left wing. Oh, that's blocked. Schroeder outside. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. His first. Here's what the Hawks have lined up on their schedule. On Tuesday, they'll face off against Anthony Davis and the Los Angeles Lakers. Then on Friday, they'll go up against Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. And for that game against Los Angeles, there aren't many other meetings that are as evenly matched as this one. Both teams can give and take punches, and this one, I think, is going to come down to the wire. That free throw missing. And you know, Dennis Schroeder, from the moment he came into the league, showed tremendous confidence. He's never been the type to back down. And the second free throw, good. Atlanta's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. Mills looking it over. Shoots over Schroeder. And Schroeder's got the ball here for the Toronto Raptors. Here's Dick. And that one's drained from the low block. Dick's got six here in this quarter. Hawk shooting in the second quarter has been pretty iffy down 32%. One eleven left in the first half. Outside Griffin. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. His second. Team third. The Hawks have missed two free throws in the game going five for seven. Shooting two. First one falls. Manuel quickly. He's checked in for Dennis Schroeder. Good on both. 103 left in the first half. It's been all Raptors. The pass to Bassey. Trent against Hardaway. Great D that time from Hardaway. Atlanta shooting only 31%. Their offense really struggling to put possessions together. He dishes it to Hunter. Outside Hardaway. Again with the block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting Greg the rim. Did. Love the hustle. Uh, assists Emmanuel like Cooper. that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Now here is Hardaway. Defended by Richards. And here is Hardaway. His scoring average sitting at 15 points a game right now. That's a pretty sizable contribution. It's good. Hardaway has got four points in the quarter. And so it's the Toronto Raptors holding a very comfortable 25-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. They've been playing some ferocious defense. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with head coach Quinn Snyder. Coach, what adjustments are you going to do in the second half? You just got to keep playing, keep taking the shots, and that's not the issue as much as us uh, not executing on offense. And when we don't score, sometimes our defense lags as well. Everybody wants to see the ball go in the basket first, right? Thanks, coach. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime, so we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith.
let's get to it. DeAndre Ayton was on fire in the first half. He ended up with 17 points, 11 rebounds, and one steal. So far, he's played a big role for his team here. And taking a look at the Raptors, Kenny, what did you see out there? And the game plan they went with was very clear. It was centered around scoring inside. Pound that ball inside, pound it in the paint, try to get the high percentage shot. And because of this assertive attitude, they've got the edge where it counts on the score. And Shaq, what'd you see from Atlanta? They really need to focus on finding quality shots. If they can't get it for themselves in the second half, things will only get worse. And I'm talking about the high percentage looks, not contested threes. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody, with Kevin Harlan. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. DeAndre Ayton has been sensational. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. They're asking a lot of him, shouldering the load in a number of areas. You just hope he has enough left at the end. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. The Raptors shooting straight 49% from the field. In the backcourt, it's the Stars, Young and Murray. Sadiq Bey is out there with Johnson. And it's Fernando in at the five, roaming the paint. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. And that one's good, Barnes. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Young against quickly, and Young kicks to Johnson. Williams with the block. Murray against Barrett. Five to shoot. That one good for two. Barrett's got 11 points. Making plays in traffic. This is where Barrett's most effective. Here's Young. And he makes good on the way. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. Now, here's Barrett. He's got 11. And they call an illegal screen here. Beyond, right beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. And Trey Young may have taken it personally that he was drafted fifth in that stacked 2018 draft. And GA, that draft was full of superstars. But you're right, he's played the most NBA games out of the top five picks in that draft. Here's Murray, five points in the game. Johnson outside. With some arc, and it's laid up and in by Young. Six points for him. Ooh, that teardrop, one of Trey Young's signature shots. He could teach a course on it. Floats it up for Williams, and Toronto turns it over again. And while we have a chance, here are the teams that have swatted away the most shots this season. Number one, the Raptors. And sometimes a team will get one guy who can block other times a guy finds ways to get others involved in blocking it, it can be contagious if he can do it wh why not me then all of a sudden you look up and you're leading the lead in block now here's murray he's a solid producer averaging nearly 22 points a game over barrett murray no good raptors shooting 51 percent from the field they'll take that Barnes against Bay. And the shot goes in. Barnes has got 12 points in the game. Oh, great production. 
on the interior right now. Eight straight from inside. Young outside. He kicks it to Johnson. Just five to shoot. Atlanta needs to get off a shot here. Launches it from deep. Bay, no good. At some point, when you recognize someone's this out of rhythm, you have to shift to something else. Here's Barrett, and it's blocked. I think so. Young against Quickly. Fearless attacking the heart of that defense. Young is willing to take punishment to get his points. The Hawks have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. And, and they've done some really nice work at the foul line, knocking down 80%. That free throw good from Young. The confidence Trey Young plays with is really something. It helps him be such a thorn in the D side. And so Young nails them both. And here are the Raptors now. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Pass to Aiton. Toronto working the ball around now. From six feet. And Barrett gets it to go. 13 points in the game. Just crushing it here. 80% to start the half. Murray, the pass to Fernando. Murray kicks to Johnson. Williams with the block. What I like, he hasn't stopped competing despite the off night. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alden. Thank you, Kevin. In 2022, LeBron James joined Michael Jordan as the only NBA players who are also billionaires. But with the growth in player salaries, that's probably going to change. In fact, for those players entering the league now, every rookie class may contain one or two future billionaires. Good work if you can get it, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding, DA. Thank you. <laughs> Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. And he uses the glass on the way. Barrett's got eight here in the quarter. This is the consistency he was looking for in the first half. Just took him a while to heat up. And there's a whistle. That goes on Scotty Barnes. That is his first foul of the game. And still early in the period. And they're only one foul away from being over the limit. And the Raptors making a change here. Schroeder's checked in. Barnes against Bay. Six on the shot clock. Knocks down the step back, Jay. Bay's got six points. Still coming into his own. Sadiq Bay showing he can hit it from mid range. Pass to Barrett. Oh, Aiton in position. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley hoop. Young outside. And he finishes nicely on the way. He's got 10. And I love the tenacity, guys. He simply can will his way into games at times and exert his presence. Now here's Schroeder. Just five on the clock. Uses the glass to finish the lane. So slippery. Shooter probably one of the more underrated ball handlers in the league. Here's Bufkin. Barrett covering. Young against Schroeder. Pass to Bufkin. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And checking out some numbers for Barrett. 
how last month turned out for him. He's right around 17 points a night, three assists and two rebounds. Yeah, he's been making the right decisions and, and letting the game come to him. Solid play all around. He's not trying to take over necessarily. He's just taking what the defense allows and contributing to the calls. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Hawks. To the paint. Here's Bufkin. The basket good off the assist from Young. Young's got three assists tonight. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Now here's Schroeder. He's got five. No one covering. Barrett's got 20 points. More of a score first point guard, but Schroeder doing a good job of finding the open band. Pass to Bufkin. Here's Fernando. Currently averaging almost six points a game. The offensive rebound. And all you got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead. Effort's been there. Check mark. The physicality. Check mark. They set the tone for this game early on. Yeah, just proving how fast he can heat up. Once Aiden finds that rhythm, he is going to work. Here's Young. Williams with the block. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Williams. DeAndre Hunter, he's checked in for the Hawks. A.J. Griffin comes in for Sadiq Bey. And then for Toronto, Bassey's checked in. And it's Ish Smith in for R.J. Barrett. And so it looks like the Hawks will retain possession here. A moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for Gary Trent. And maybe it's shocking. Maybe, well, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. And you can tell they had that play ready to go. Well done on the inbound. Hopkins gotten three of his four shots to fall, hitting 75%. Pass to Schroeder. And the shot is good. Schroeder's got four this quarter. He comes off screens like it's an agility course. Schroeder as elusive as they come. Young against Schroeder. And Young kicks to Johnson. Dish now to Griffin. Pocket six. Over Barnes. And Barnes sends it back. Knocks it loose. Dishes it to Griffin. Young outside. Kicks to Hunter. Down to five on the shot clock. Fades back. Good D by Barnes. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Now the pass to Schroeder. Aiton inside. Covered by Johnson. And it's Aiton missing. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one. To a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look, but this is why we play the game. Here's Bufkin. He has six. Doesn't go that time. Smith outside. Passes it to Bassey. Back to Smith. Here's Bassey. Barnes passes to Aiton. And yeah, let's take a moment to show you the NBA's best rebounding teams over the last 10 games. Number one, the Raptors. In the third spot, the Hawks. Both squads just rebounding the ball so well here of late. I mean, this is going to be a very interesting matchup from a physical standpoint. Two shots. Thank you. 
He misses the free throw. The Atlanta making some changes. Robinson comes in for Johnson. Hardaway is subbed in for Trey Young. And the Raptors making a change here. And he's good on the second. Here's Bufkin. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. In the corner, Hardaway with it. And the officials three, call him for a three-second three violation. A moment to check out DeAndre Aiden here. Tremendous numbers for him over the last ten games. Second in field goal percentage. Fourth in rebounding. And he provides that deterrent around the rim, ranking among the top 15 league-wide in blocks per game. And you mentioned it. He's the second-best shooter in the league right now. Quick trigger with just a little bit better footwork. He could take over that top spot. Now here is Hardaway. Six points for him. To the middle. Here's Robinson. And it's Robinson with the jam. Great pass to set your man up with a high percentage look. Now Smith. A floater. Robinson pulls it in. Trent against Hardaway. It doesn't go for him. Good work defensively by Trent. Smith surveying the D. Oh, Aiton in position. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And the impressive reach of Aiden. Lob it up his way, and he'll take care of the rest. Here's Bufkin. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Yeah, the defender all over him. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Toronto? For me, consistent penetration the entire game. And that's given them a lot of options. And tonight we've also seen a lot of great play from them inside. They've been consistent in terms of attacking the interior of this D. And the first one drops. Manuel quickly, he's checked in for the Raptors. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Wow, they made every free throw here in the second half. Out to the wing. And there's the call on DeAndre. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. I don't get it. He was so efficient in the first half. Zero turnovers. But since the break, he's been a disaster. Box making a switch here. Mills is checked in. Over to the wing. A step back shot here. Hardaway, no good. And so it's Trent with it. He brings it up for Toronto. Pass to Aiton. Over Robinson. And it's Aiton missing. Atlanta's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Hardaway kicks to Mills. There's the triple. It's tipped. And so it looks like the Hawks will retain possession here. Sixteen seconds left in the third quarter. Six to shoot. Here's Hunter. And that one hits back iron. And so it's Toronto. Leading by a full 31 points at the end of the quarter. Defensively, they have gotten after it. Contesting every shot going up. We'll return shortly.
And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Here is Matthews. So for Toronto right now, we've got Nick Richards, and it's Bassey in at the four. Robinson passes to Mills. Misses from close range. The Raptors shooting has been great, up over 50%. In fact, 52%. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Here we are looking around the NBA. Greg, it feels like there's more parity amongst teams than ever before. No dominant team has been the favorite every year. And that can all change, though, in a heartbeat. Every so often, a dynasty can be born out of nothing. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. So one for two that time at the strike. Outside Griffin. He gets it in there. And here are the Raptors now. Quickly up top, covered by Mills. Quickly against Brown, and it's blocked by Brown. Matthews passes to Mills. One minute now into this fourth quarter. He dishes it to Brown. Releases. Cans the shot from the wing. Perfect vision. Mills getting quicker these days at spotting the open man. Now, here's quickly. Covered by Mills. From 12 feet out. And it's quickly missing. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. I mean, that's a good job working the ball inside and getting a quality shot. Here's Shepard. He's covered by Matthews. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And Steve, with the way these NBA players can reach out to each other with ease, how much off-court communication do you think is going on? I think a lot is going on, Kevin. A lot of these players have been playing with each other or against each other from a long a time since they were young in AAU. Uh, because of social media and also the Internet, it makes the world that much smaller. These guys communicate way more than we did. No good on the free throw. And missing opportunities here to extend that lead at the free throw line this half. Smith checked in for quickly. He hits the second from the line. And so it's Mills who will bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Outside Matthews. Back to Mills. The feed to Robinson. Back to Stroud. This is Smith. His second. Teams first. At the line for your Hawks. Robinson. And he can't get the first one. And we know that several active NBA players, Steve, have their own podcasts. 
uh, players now have a direct platform for their voice, and I think they like that. Yeah, they do. They want to be able to own their own content, want to be able to put out their different stories the way they want to. They want to be in control of everything that has to do with them. Second free throw, no good. Toronto shooting it up around 51%. They're getting good looks. Throws it up high. It's deflected and taken away by Brown. Matthews with it. Now Smith defending. Shots good by Mills. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Here's Shepard. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Pass to Smith. Shoots over Mills. Here's Richards. And they have their chances. Two offensive rebounds. But they still come up empty. That's tipped. And so it looks like the Hawks will retain possession here. And the ball. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Outside Matthews. He blocks it again. And that's nine blocks. You know he's going to be coming hard for that tenth. Good. Shots good by Mills. He's hot this quarter. Getting the shots he wants. And he's delivering. Smith outside. And the pass to Richards. Over Robinson. And he overshot that one. Missing. And it's the Hawks ball. They're on a 10-1 to run. Here's Bufkin. It's good. And, and looking a lot better now. But still a long way to go to get back into this one. Very nice stretch from them. But the reason why they're not into this game, they have to get some stops. Yes, Richards. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. So Steve, you were drafted by the Heat, a young expansion team at the time down in Miami. But if you had to choose, which city would you give an expansion team to right now? I think Seattle and Las Vegas are at the top of everyone's list. San Diego would be nice because I love to travel there. I love when Vancouver had a team. How about bringing that team back, Kevin? First free throw is good. So he gets them both. Toronto leading by 21. Schroeder outside. Good on the shot. He has a wiry frame, but he's stronger than he looks. Schroeder unafraid of contact, able to complete the play. Here's Bufkin. Johnson outside. Hits it from three-point range. Pure determination here, guys. A fourth-quarter run that has them looking better and better as we get ready for the stretch run. Now, here's Barrett. And with this new in-season tournament, Greg, the NBA continuing to innovate. Are they getting no two out there for you? Or do you like it? Listen, I think it pays to be bold. And I'll be one to admit, I was not a fan of the play-in. But I got to tell you, it's been a tremendous success. So I've got an open mind. 
And so here's Toronto following the bucket by the Hawks. Barnes down low. The kick out to Williams. Just five on the clock. Here's Barrett. The shot comes out. Murray with the defensive effort. Here's Bufkin. Covered by Barnes. Bufkin, no good. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never oh, give up yeah. on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Uh, an effective mid-range score. Barrett excels at finding openings in the defense and capitalizing. Here's Murray after R.J. Barrett's bucket. Looking to get back on track here. And it's good on the way. And look, he's not the best athlete, but he's able to create the space he needs to operate. Schroeder against Young. Now here's Schroeder. D right on him. Good defensive work there by Young. The Hawks trail by 18. Good for another field goal. Number five in the night. Five for 10 shooting. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Passes to Richards. And it's Barrett penetrating. Got a piece of it. Off the mark once again. Terrible quarter for him thus far. Bufkin no good. Raptors leading by 16. Now here's Schroeder. Pass to Barnes. Over Young. It's good from Barnes on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got six assists in the game. Good work inside. Barnes showing how skilled he is close to the rim. Now, here is Young. Feeds it to Johnson. Barnes outside. Pass to Richards. Bufkin with the rebound. Bufkin's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Murray. Gets the 14 foot of the fall. A lot of teams bait Murray into taking this shot, and he obliges by knocking it down. The pass to Barrett. Takes the three. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got his seventh assist in the game. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Trailing by 19. Schroeder against Young. Outside for Murray. Over Bill. Murray, no good. Raptors leading by 19. Barnes with it. And Young picks him up defensively. Barnes dishes to Schroeder. Passes it to Barrett. Played in with a nice touch oh, off the glass. Yeah. Barrett's got 27 points. Incredible night for Barrett. He scores in a multitude of ways, and he brings the effort on every possession. Now here's Murray. Rebound by the Raptors. Williams has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Got it. Good job in the low post. What a turnaround for him since the half. More aggressive and more effective. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's Bufkin. Outside for Murray. And the three ball is good. Murray's got seven now in this quarter. Improved shot mechanics, improved strength. DeJounte Murray is becoming a force. Pass to Barrett. And looks like the illegal kick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Greg is a guy that led the offense. A four general. Do you think we're in the golden era of point guards? 
Kevin, it's hard to say. I mean, the 80s had Magic and Isaiah. The, the 90s had Stockton and Peyton. The 2000s with Nash and Kidd. But this era is deep. You got Curry, Lillard, Doncic, Morant. And, of course, CP3 is still going. Schroeder outside. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. There's a certain electricity to Schroeder's game, this time with a statement finish. Young finds Johnson. And here is Bay. Off target with his three. And this is what you like about his perimeter D. Never gave up and challenged the deep. You see some guys, they just mail it in. They don't go out and contest it. Not him. He's going to compete through the entire play. Now here's Williams. And stolen by Murray. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout. A dominating performance for Toronto. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And in terms of the season record, this is going to be their 18th win overall. And really, they finally got something good to happen against this team. The last two games they faced them weren't nearly as productive. And you know, guys, what a nice performance it was for DeAndre Ayton. He played with a lot of fire, a lot of heart, especially on the glass. He's one of those guys who acts like every rebound is his, and many of them were tonight. Williams with the defensive effort. Here's Toronto. Well, for the Raptors, they can just run out the clock. Barrett against Murray. Barrett with the ball. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I guess they leave you home. We were at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. We'll see you next time.